What's that on your hand, honey? I don't know. Uh, did you get into my makeup again? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. Go wash it off right now. Mommy, it's not coming off. What? Oh, give me your hand. What the heck? See, I told you. <sighs> Come here. We're going to the doctor. Why would you draw that on your hand? I didn't draw this on myself. It's a birthmark. At least, I think. You think? She's probably an alien. <laughs> I heard that she's cursed. Dude, for real, I feel like she's cursed. She's had that mark since kindergarten. We have to get rid of her. I have a plan. Hey, some of us are gonna go rock climbing. Do you wanna join? You wanna go with me? Yeah, we feel like it would be a lot of fun. Come on. Guys, um, I don't really know about this. The cliff looks pretty high up. Don't be a scaredy cat. We got you, girl. I really don't think this was a good idea, guys. Do it now. Cut a rope. What? Bye. No! I'm Jess Ken, and you were a real star B or 10. Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um, a bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is going to happen to Mommy. I don't know. I don't I know. bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. <gasps> no, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rar. Okay, um, a lion? No. <laughs> a tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie, you only have ten seconds left. Rar. A cheetah? A leopard? A... Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Mm -hmm. Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh-oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grrr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom. Susie, what is your word? My word is... Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to act it out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some idea on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. <laughs> the game is offline. Good, I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. 
Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, Mom. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrass you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow, when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm going to love you just the same. Poor thing. It's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh... Take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say you take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. The itsy bitsy spider... Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know. I... Just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear. This isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little... Miss Claremont, lamb. please stop singing. Little lamb, little lamb. Mary, little lamb. Stop! Mary had a little... <gasps> Oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? what? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? 
It was awful. Someone took my earplugs, and then my teacher tried to kill me. What are you doing? rock a -bye, baby Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Uh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine. Just come here. Oh, I got it. <sighs> Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. <gasps> Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There. He's not going anywhere. <sighs> Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you... are you... Coming into the tree where dead men called out? For his love to flee. Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him. But definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> You have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry, I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. <gasps> Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. Corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. 
I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who... Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I... Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow, and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, Your Highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel. Someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey... Will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Happy birthday. Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears, really guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. <sighs> That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes. I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return this shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry. Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no. You got mind reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. 
Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! <sighs> Now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Whoa, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm gonna give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Jeanette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think- Watch her! I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <gasps> Help! <sighs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Ugh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Uh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me, unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. 
please hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no, I, I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah, you know what? I think I am. <coughs> it's not going to be easy. I know, mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, mom, I'm winning. Oh, honey, how fun. Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes. Actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. I let you hold my baby, and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back, and when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? So, that's how I became your mom. But now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? That I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Police. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here. Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny. Yay. And one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is... No one. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter. She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. I brought you food. This? This is the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Oh, here! I found your real soulmate letter. Thank you. The annual soulmate ball is tomorrow. You should come. I would love to, but... Your mother will never let me go. I have a plan on how you can sneak out. Really? Yeah. 
I'll keep your letter safe until then. Mother will let you out in a few hours. Bye. Oh, but... Hello, Brielle. I hope you learned your lesson. Now come, Olivia wants to speak with you. Whoa, that dress looks great on you. Thank you, but can I have my soulmate letter back now? Yeah, of course, here. Hey, why does my soulmate letter status say stolen? You have your letter. It's got to be a glitch. Yeah, I guess you're right, but will they let me in the ball with this status? No one can see your status except for you. Brielle, where are you? Hold on to that letter. You'll need to show it to your soulmate as proof that you're his match. Now let's go. Bye. Good luck at the ball. <laughs> I'm so sorry, miss. You're... Prince Anthony, yes. Please, excuse me. I was trying to find my soulmate. Your Highness, wait. I... I believe that I'm your soulmate. You are? Yes. Would you like to see my letter? No need. Those letters are my father's idea. To be honest, I find them a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I sort of think that if someone is right for you, you'll just know. Yes, exactly. <gasps> oh Prince my gosh, Anthony. please dance with me. Maybe we should go somewhere a little more... <laughs> Private. So, what do you do for fun? Fun? Yes, during your free time. I don't really have much free time. My mother, she's very strict. My father is too. He never lets me leave the castle. You should be allowed to explore your kingdom. I tried to explain that to him, but he never listens. My mother never listens to me either. How could someone not listen to a sweet person like- There she is! There she is! That's the girl. Olivia? Don't act shocked. You know her? Oh, she knows me, your highness, and I would stay away from her. What are you doing? There are claims you have lied about your soulmate letter. That's not true. Uh-huh. He is my soulmate. I have the proof. Just look at my letter. The letter in this envelope is not from the prince. What? I have his letter right here. You switched them. What is going on here? She's pretending to be me. No, Olivia is lying. That letter belongs to me. Your Highness, don't listen to her. She's trying to trick you. She is the one trying to trick you, I swear. Enough. You're under arrest. Leave her alone. Where do you think you're going? Your... Your Majesty. Guards, arrest her at once. No, please wait. Stay still. Is it true you have been lying to my son? I would never. Thank goodness you caught her. How do you know this girl? She's my servant. You're not a servant, right? Truth is, I am a maid, but not by choice. What do you mean by that? That woman is not my mother by blood. She married my father, and then she poisoned him so she could take all his money. Lies? I would never. She did, and she forces me to clean, and so do her daughters. What? We do not. I don't know who to believe. I do. Brielle is telling the truth. Her eyes are innocent. The prince is mistaken. Please, father. I'm asking you to trust me on this, just this once. Release the girl and arrest her family. I believe you, son. What? No. You said this would work, mother. Good morning, my love. Breakfast is ready. They made breakfast? For me? Remember, I told you as my wife, you'll never have to cook or clean again. I simply won't allow it. Well, I guess I can't complain about that. It's just, I... I'm not sure I'm fit to be a princess. You're so beautiful that when we first met, I thought you were one. Really? Yes. But more importantly, you have a pure heart which makes you more than deserving to wear that crown. Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. We have to cover this up right now. But why? Because it, um, it makes you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm going to school. Not so fast. Let's see your face. Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And whose fault is that? Dad, you know today is my birthday, and my friend bought me this cupcake. You have to cover up that mark with concealer. Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work, so you're gonna stay home. Happy birthday to me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. Girl, you're late. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, your mark. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's the mark of the lost princess. You're the lost princess! What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not! I'm being serious! Save it! My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know.
I hope you learned your... This is the Royal Guards. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh, are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> And this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl dolls yeah. than you do, You never miss any American Girl stuff. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you can have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranates. No pomegranates. No! No, 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 no! No pomegranates! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <coughs> see? You see? <coughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks, I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. 
Why are you guys looking at me like that? Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mom. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry. I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Ah! My hand! I'm so sorry, I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, she could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Aw, oh, thank you. <gasps> you took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait! Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. Hey! Guards, stop her! She throws my feet to the floor. Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. Hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working. Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm going to get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <laughs> Guards, get her. Yes, your majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. Uh. Sit down. <sighs> Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Well, you see, dear, after you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone, I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. Take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there? Probably freezing to death. Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh, it's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. Focus. Who said that? You know who I am. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here. <gasps> 10,000? But Mommy and Daddy always give me 15,000. They must be trying to put me on a budget or something. 
My parents only gave me five dollars today. Yikes, sucks for you. Please, can you buy me my lunch? No, I don't think I will. Oh, please, I'm so hungry. Sorry, I can't help you. You know what? You're gonna regret this. Okay, your total's eight thousand. Oh, I don't quite have enough. <laughs> Do you want me to just put it on hold for you? No, I really wanted to get this bag today. Um, my parents are gonna reload my balance tomorrow. Is it okay if I just pay for it then? Yeah, sure, we can do that for you, babe. Mm. Thank you. Five dollars? No, this, this has to be an error or something. If you don't have the money, you have to return the bag. Well, about that, I kinda sorta already gave it away as a birthday present. Okay, then you're getting arrested. Security? Wait, what? Officer, there's been a mistake. I have a lot of money. Yeah, sure. Just sign right here, okay? I am not signing anything until I speak to my lawyer. Oh, really? Yes, and I know that I get one phone call. What, you gonna call mommy and daddy to come save you? Maybe. You're something else, kid. Come on, follow me. <sighs> Hello? Mommy, it's me. Make it quick, darling. I'm at a photo shoot. Mommy, I've been arrested. What? Yes, why did you and Daddy only give me five dollars today? Five dollars? No, Daddy and I sent you 15k. What? Then I don't know what happened, but can you guys come get me? I'm in France right now, darling. Okay, then what about Daddy? Daddy is shooting a movie in Dubai. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Joanna, we need you. Darling, I'll call you back. Hello? Hey, you got a visitor. Mommy and Daddy finally came to get me. Hi, remember me? I told you you'd regret not buying me that lunch. You switched our bank accounts, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I learned how to hack the system. It's something I've been working on for a very long time. All of this because I wouldn't buy you a stupid lunch? Not just that. You're a spoiled little brat who needed to be taught a lesson. You don't know me. Oh, but I do. I did my research on you. Your mommy is a model and your daddy is a movie star. But they both love their careers more than you. That isn't true. Oh, really? Then why aren't they here? Give me back my money. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, thanks? <laughs> Just kidding. <gasps> hey, you little- Watch it. If you want to get out of here, you're gonna do exactly as I say. Now that you're out, for every task you do for me, I'll give you back five dollars. But that'll take forever. Exactly. Go clean my bathroom. Yeah, no way. All right then, I guess I'm never switching our bank accounts back. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. Now get to scrubbing. Okay, I'm all done. Good, here you go. It's kind of hot in here, so fan me with this. Who do you think you are, royalty or something? <laughs> Might as well be. Now do it. Can I stop now? Hey, what was that about? No complaining or you lose money. All right, you know what? That's it. Ugh. No, stop! <laughs> Darling, I'm so proud of you for getting your money back. Yeah, but I realize I should be a little bit more generous with my money, since you guys do give me so much. Darling, your daddy's movie got cancelled, so we're gonna have to cut back. Oh, well then, um, how much am I gonna get now? Well, you see... I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is gonna be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Hey, I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! 
Santa's looking for you. Ho, ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of. Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I going to do? Holly! Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. You all right? Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Want to see something cool? Sure. It's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing? Dad? We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving, and he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad, why are you guys looking at me like that? Because, for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. <laughs> Frosts are nothing. But bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. Sweet, because I've already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, <laughs> I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky. Sorry, it was the only way. But come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's going to lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aw. I win. Since you won, I, I picked these flowers for you. Prince Daniel, do you see that above your head, too? Uh-huh. You have to get people to kiss you. Oh. How about I kiss you? But if we're soulmates, your score will... It will go up high. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Stop. You're forbidden to see Prince Daniel again. No. Go to your room. Stepmother, please let me go help the village people. I won't talk to any boys, and I promise I'll only be gone for a few hours. No. What if some stranger tries to kiss you and your score goes up? Why don't you want my kiss score to go up? Yours is already at 50. They say if you kiss your soulmate, your score goes up really high. Is that why yours is so high? No. Soulmates are a lie. I just have a way with men. But you're staying in your room. I told the village people that I was going to help them out today, and I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you, Princess. We appreciate your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, really. Look, her score is going up. Hey, Princess Sydney? It's me, Prince I, Daniel. I have to go. Wait, I haven't seen you in forever. I'm forbidden to talk to you, remember? Oh, come on. You know you still owe me. Princess, there you are. How did your score go up? Who kissed you? It was two women from the village. They were both so grateful for my help that they each kissed one of my hands. We also caught her talking to Prince Daniel. I'm so sorry. He started talking to me and... Silence. You were forbidden to see him. We'll discuss your punishment later. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, and don't come back until the job is done. So you're allowing me to go out in the village today? 
Are you sure you're not still mad? All is forgiven. Thank you. My best god will be with you for protection. Come along, princess. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, don't cry. I picked this flower earlier. Would you like to have it? Yes, please. You don't know how much that means to her. Allow me to repay you for your kindness. Oh, you really don't. <sighs> Everyone, let's all kiss the princess's hand so we can raise her score. Yeah! Good job, everyone. She's almost about to beat the evil queen's score. Yeah! Today was an eventful day, huh? I just hope that stepmother doesn't mind that my kiss score is almost as high as hers. After tonight, I don't think she'll mind. Let's get you back home. We're almost there. No, stop. You keep saying that, and I don't remember the way to the castle being this way. <sighs> well, princess, that's because it's not. No. I'm sorry, princess. Why are you doing this? The queen believes you are a threat to her kiss score. She ordered me to get rid of you. I don't want to kill you, but if I don't, she'll kill me. Close your eyes. Oh. Stay back. Daniel. Run. Run and don't come back. Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Please help me. The queen, she was trying to kill- Whoa, whoa, sweetheart. It's all right. Come on, let's get you inside. Thank you for letting me stay here. Your dog is so sweet. Of course. It's our pleasure, dear. Good night, sweetheart. Come here. Princess, I'm taking the dog out for a walk. Don't answer the door to anyone. Okay. I know this song. That's the song that Mother used to sing to me. Mom? Oh, Sydney. Yes, it's me. No, that's impossible. You died when I was four. The ones we love are never gone. I've come to give you a kiss. You only need one more kiss to beat the Evil Queen's score. How do you know that? Because, my daughter, I'm magic. That's how I came back to life. Now let me give you a kiss. I... I don't know if I believe you. How about I give you a little demonstration? You see, dear? Magic. It's really me, your mom. I've missed you so much. Once I give you this magical kiss, we'll be together forever. <laughs> Mom, I don't feel very good. Well, that's because you've been tricked. <laughs> Stepmother? Hello, Sydney. I've just given you the kiss of death. You'll be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, princess, I found a prince who was looking for <laughs> you. No, Sydney. The queen must have done this to her. Daniel, I... I love... No, hey, stay with me. Sydney. Sydney! No... Oh. Please, please, no, Sydney, wake up. I'm so sorry, dear. This wasn't supposed to happen. Remember you? You still owe me that kiss. Wait, True Love's kiss? She's waking up. Look at her score. Ow! You two must be soulmates. I knew it. The evil queen has gone too far this time. You have to take back your kingdom. You're right. She's finally... Not so fast. What? Surprise. You're probably wishing you would have tried to kill me too now. Why, you, Sydney, get away from him. You don't make the rules anymore, stepmother. I do. And you're hereby dethroned. <laughs> you wouldn't dare hurt me with that sword. Try me and see what happens. <gasps> Guards? No, you fools, get off of me. Finally, we have a good queen. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way, that's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're going to adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh, look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey, give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the? Uh -huh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. What the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. Sex to be you. That's it. Come here. Mom! 
I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right. Uh, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, Mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Danette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think... Watch her. I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Uh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me. Unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. Right, girls, on the count of three, reveal your symbols to me. One, two, three. I got a heart. I got a diamond. I got a star. What did you say, Denise? I said I got a star. <gasps> what? Mom! Isn't that symbol the same one that... Cover that up. What? But why would I need to... Don't question me. Just do it. Aunt Cora, I covered it up, see? Good. Now if anyone is to ask you about your symbol, you would simply say you didn't get one. Do you understand? I feel so bad you didn't get a symbol. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, I found out Jake and I both have a circle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go show him. Yeah, go ahead. Movie star Caleb Woods reveals his symbol. Take a look. Caleb, show us your symbol. Guys, come on. I got somewhere to be. Please. Oh, come on. 
All right. It's a star. Okay. Is that the mail? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Give it to me. <laughs> this is it. I want to open it. No, I got it first. Girls, please at least try to act civilized. <gasps> we won. Oh my gosh, we did. Let me see that. We are pleased to inform you that your whole family has been invited to a once-in-a-lifetime movie premiere. Do you know what this means? You two are going to have a chance to hook up with a big-time movie star. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god! I call dibs on Caleb Woods. Wait, he's gonna be there? Of course he's gonna be there! He's the star of the movie, you idiot! We have no time to waste. We have to get you two some outfits. What about me? It said everyone in the family was invited. Yes, and last time I checked, you were adopted. But you guys chose to adopt me. Right. Well, that was because my sister's will had clearly stated that if anything were to happen to her, I were to adopt you. Well, you guys can't just flirt with celebrities. You have to go with the person that has your same... I told you to cover that up. I did, but I took a shower this morning and I guess the makeup was... Still... Quiet. I don't care about your excuses. Where's our dresses? They're right here. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Wait a minute. Did you guys change your symbols? You changed yours to a star? That's my symbol. Yeah, so what? So what? It's against the rules. I'm going to turn you guys in. Mom! Put that phone down, Denise. The star is my soulmate symbol. It belongs to... Caleb Woods. I know. That's why you wanted me to cover it up. Let me ask you something, Denise. Do you really think that he would want you? I mean, look at you. He's a big-time movie star, and you're a high school dropout. You made me drop out of school because you said I needed to focus more on the chores. Yes, but I pay you for everything that you do. But if you disobey me, Ow. mark my words, you'll end up in the streets because trust me, no one is going to hire you. Girls, the limo's here. Hey, guess who's back from her beauty pageant contest? Maya, how did you get in here? The back door is open. I figured I'd surprise you. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine, really. So you do have a symbol! What? No, I... Girl, listen. I don't know what your crazy aunt of yours did to you while I was away, but you need to tell me everything. Maya... Come on, Denise. I want to help you. Oh, no, she didn't. You deserve to go to that premiere and meet Caleb. It's too late now anyways. Not necessarily. I have an idea. Okay, Denise, come on out. Oh my god. I love it. Are you sure it's okay that I borrow all of this? Of course. Oh, and here's your fake VIP badge that I made on Photoshop. I just really hope my aunt and cousins don't recognize me. Hi, excuse me, Caleb? You want my autograph? No, actually, I... I wanted to show you this. You got a star, too. Mr. Woods, is she bothering you? No, not at all. Here, uh, let's go somewhere more private. Glad you came up to me. I haven't talked to a girl like you in a long time. What about all your fans? Don't get me wrong, I love my fans, but they don't really know me. And my family doesn't even care to know me. Yeah, do you ever feel like your family just uses you so they can get what they want? Even if that means they hurt you in the process? Yep, like nothing I do is ever... Good enough for them? Yeah, exactly. Wait, you know, I realize I never got your name. Oh, um, my name? It's, um, Caleb, over here! Who's this? They're taking photos of us? Yeah, sorry. Guys, come on, can we get some space? I have to go. Wait! Denise, where are you? There you are! I am so upset with you, Denise! How dare you let your cousin go out with such a big stain on her dress? You were supposed to have gotten it dry cleaned! Oh, I guess it must have, um, slipped my mind. Well, you are very lucky that I am exhausted right now. We'll talk about this more in the morning. Come along, girls. We need our beauty sleep. Caleb Woods was spotted talking to a mystery girl last night. The paparazzi got these photos of her, but no one is exactly sure who she is. You wanted to talk to me? Yes, I was wondering if you wanted to explain to me why I found this under your bed. You... you came into my room? I own this house. Now answer my question. Were you the one talking to Caleb? Yes, it was me. But you know what? I had every right to go see him. He is my soulmate. So if you want to kick me out for doing that, go right ahead because I am tired of all of you guys treating me with such disrespect. 
She's going to be in so much trouble. Girls, you can stop spying on us. Denise is right. We need to treat her with more respect. Here you go, Denise. Now relax and watch whatever you want. I'll be back, dear. I'm going to get you something to drink. Here you are, Denise. I got you your favorite. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Here, let me see it. See? I'm just trying to be a bit nicer to you. All right, well, thanks. Please, if you're watching this, DM me a picture of yourself and your mark. Caleb is looking for you? Yeah, I'm gonna message him. But Denise, you're a fake. What happened to being nice? I'm just being honest, dear. Without that wig and all that makeup, you don't look so good. Do you really want to reveal yourself? Yes, because my mom always taught me to be my... Poor Denise, you really did take after my sister. So gullible and innocent. Always outshining my daughters, though. <laughs> perfect little face. Perfect soulmate. Well, not anymore. Mom, what did you do to her? Oh, relax. She's fine. She's just going to be asleep for a little while. Now, put this on. What? Me? Yes, you. You look the most like Denise. We'll make Caleb think you're her. Now while Chloe gets ready, I'll take a picture of your mark. Perfect. Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature. Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude. You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. That's him. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. Oh. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Mm. Shh, shh, I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Ah, please. Wake up. What happened? I saved your life. Mom? What did you do to her? Pew, pew. You used your laser vision on her? Yes. I protect you. 
you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <laughs> my soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Talking about this. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, <laughs> there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. Okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Nate. Oh, no, he did it. Nate. Oh, no, he did it. <laughs> I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey. Mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom... Uh-uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom- There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful, so I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right, come on, let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least, that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! 
You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Hmm. Who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question. Who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. The son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really? I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> Let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyways? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No! <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing! Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> it's called winning, mate. Hey! Is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's all right, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, you're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Mommy, what are you looking at? 
Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's sugar daddy, girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade on my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with your doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? one hundred and forty-five dollars to cover the surgery. Brina, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But, Mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal! Hey! You're coming with me! Wait here! I'll be right back! I have to get out of here! Wait... He's an idiot! He didn't even take my phone! Alright, I'm back! Here, I bought this for you! Put it on! Yeah, that's not happening! Please put it on, Brina! I'd like you to wear that! Oh, so now you want to be nice! You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. Ugh. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> Yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Greenheart Kingdom has gotten more powerful, and their king has vowed to capture you. Oh my gosh, Mom, I told you I can protect myself. No, we're joining forces with another kingdom. What kingdom? The Blue Heart Kingdom. You are to marry their prince. Son, their kingdom needs our help. I'm not marrying Bree from the Red Heart Kingdom. This is stupid. If you bring him here, I'm not speaking to him. At least give him a chance. No, literally everyone knows that people from the Blue Heart Kingdom are stuck up, sloppy, and they don't even wear their kingdom's colors. Like, who does that? Stop it. Go over there. Princess, it is a pleasure to meet you. And may I introduce my son, Prince Devin. <clears throat> Say hello. Hello, Bree. Hello, Devin. You can't force me to marry him. I'm sorry, but we need his kingdom's protection from the green hearts. No, we don't. We can protect ourselves. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have a little word with the prince. Honey, wait. Devin, your majesty, your help is no longer required, so, um, you guys can just go. Great, come on, dad, let's get out of here. Son, now wait just a minute. We agreed you two would be married. I didn't agree to anything. Yeah, neither did I. So, goodbye, Prince Devin. It was really nice meeting you. Yeah, real nice. <laughs>
What's up with you two? Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Just, um, have a safe trip home. I still can't believe you did that. Well, Mom, actually, I've been thinking a lot about the prince, because yesterday when we touched, my heart... My queen, the green hearts, they're here. Stay in this room. Mom, is that you? Surprise. You're... The king of green hearts. Sorry to tell you, your guards didn't make it. Why are you doing this? What do you want? Revenge. Your father stole your mother from me. She was supposed to be my wife. What? You have to let that go. My father passed away years ago. I know, which means there's no one left to protect you. Your powers are no match for mine. You're coming with me, and you're never going to see your mother again. You came back. Listen, when I shook your hand, I felt something. I did too. I think somehow we created a new power. Or maybe our powers are stronger together. That could be the way we defeat this guy. Here, give me your hand. Hey, moron, come and get us. Now. No! The Green Hearts have been defeated, and the wedding is off. But, honey, the legend says if two people's heart colors mix together, that means they're soulmates. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you, and if, you know, you want to come back and visit me, you're more than welcome to. Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby, and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no. I, I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah. You know what? I think I am. It's not going to be easy. I know, Mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom! I'm winning! Oh, honey, how fun! Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes. Actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. I let you hold my baby, and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back, and when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? So, that's how I became your mom. But now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? That I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Please. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here. Time to finally find out my soulmate status. He's engaged. Hey, did you find out your soulmate status? Yeah, I did. Girl, me too. Mine is single. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so embarrassing, but mine literally has a girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's engaged or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just cleaning my closet. Uh-huh. I just got a call from your school today saying that you failed a test. Yeah, it's because I was a little bit distracted today. I'm sorry, I... Go do your homework right now. This is ridiculous. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I went onto YouTube for like one minute. Royal Prince speaks out about being forced into arranged marriage. How shall I marry this woman when my soulmate is still out there? Damn, arranged marriages really suck. 
Hey, I can't really talk right now. My stepdad's gonna... Forget about him! Haven't you heard the news? The prince left his kingdom. He's looking for his soulmate. Rumor has it, the prince is headed this way. Listen, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, my soulmate status says engaged. It does? Wait, the prince is engaged. I know, so do you think him and I might be- Soulmates? Come on, get real. You and the prince? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I heard a prince is coming into our town. Yeah, I heard that too. You stay clear of him, understood? Wait, why? Because I said so. Now get to school. I don't want you being late. What is going on? Why is everyone in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up! The prince is here. Look! Hello, everyone. I have been informed that my soulmate might be at this very school. That is why I am breaking off my engagement in hopes to find her. Can you believe the prince is single now? Yeah, that's really crazy. Are you okay? Excuse me for a second. Hey, did you leave school early yesterday? Yeah, I kind of got overwhelmed. The prince was there. What? He was? Yeah. Did you talk to him? Why do you care if I talk to him? You don't even know who he is. I know more than you understand. The prince is interviewing girls today. He is? Yeah, he's trying to find out which girl is his soulmate. But how's he going to know which one's the right girl? He said he'll just know. Isn't that so romantic? Mm-hmm. I've interviewed at least 60 girls today, and not one of them was my soulmate. Are you sure, Saya? Yes, trust me. When I find the right girl, I'll know. Excuse me, Your Highness. Ahem. <clears throat> the prince is done with interviews for today. You can come back again tomorrow. No, no, wait just a moment. I think I want to make time for this girl. What's your name, love? My name is Heaven. That's a beautiful name. My name is Henry. Prince Henry of Onnington. Thank you, Mildred. You may leave us now. I can't believe we have so much in common. Tell me, Heaven, are you close with your parents? Actually, both of my biological parents passed away. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I live with my stepdad now. Oh, I see. Listen, Henry, the reason why I think you and I are soulmates is because when you said you were ending your engagement... Your Highness, I must talk to you. <clears throat> in private. We saw you talking to the prince. Yeah, he had to go. But he said he's going to meet me again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see him today. What? Why are you looking so sad, Heaven? No reason. Come on, she's obviously upset about the prince. You heard about his engagement being back on, huh? Yeah. Aw, she really liked him, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but I heard his father locked him in his castle. Not like you had a chance with him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Psst, heaven, over here. Don't cry, love. Henry? Hey, I don't have much time. I escaped the castle. The gods are looking for me. I don't know. Maybe you should go back. After all, you are engaged. Heaven, it's not by choice. My father is blackmailing me. Wait, what? Why would he do that? I don't have much time. Here, meet me back here tomorrow at five. Henry, I... Please, love. We have more we need to discuss. All right. Fine. I'll be here. You think you can get away with lying? I told you not to talk to the prince. How do you... Your friend sent me some photos of you talking to him. Do you think that just because I'm your stepfather, you don't have to listen to me? That's not it at all. It's just that I know he's my soulmate. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm meeting him tonight. Absolutely not. What do you have against the prince? You know what, Ben? I'm going, and you can't stop me. I said no, Heaven. You're not going. Ben, let me out. It's for your own good, Heaven. This just in, the search for Prince Henry continues. I'm sorry for standing you up, Henry. Ben, I'm hungry. Can I please have something to eat? Hello? Heaven? Heaven, are you there? Henry! Henry, up here! Heaven, there you are. How did you find me? I asked some of your classmates where you lived. Hang on, I'm coming up. Okay. Ugh. So your stepfather locked you in here? He's trying to keep me away from you, but I don't know why. Wait, is this a picture of him? Yeah. Uh-oh. What? Heaven, he's one of my father's biggest enemies. He hates my whole family. We have to get out of here. Where is your stepfather now? I don't know. I'm right here. Oh. <coughs> Come on. We're leaving. Heaven, get back here. No. Oh, oh my gosh, Henry. <laughs> what? Where, where's Ben? Don't worry. I took care of him. I'm going to get you help, okay? Oh. <sighs> Please tell me he's going to be okay. Yes, the doctor said he expects him to make a full recovery. Can I see him? 
Mm, his fiance is already on her way, so I think it's best if you just wait out here. Absolutely not. Your, your majesty. My son's engagement to that woman is over. I'm no longer enforcing it. I had no idea his true soulmate was so brave. I'm so sorry about all of this. It is a pleasure to meet you, my dear. I can't thank you enough for saving my son. Oh, really? He was the one saving me. Well, I can assure you your stepfather won't be bothering you again. Now come, dear. Let's go see Henry. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. White love. Check his status. Finally. Nobody wants a 17-year-old anyways. Hey. Sissy, hi. Do you want to play dolls with me? Actually, I need to tell you. <clears throat> Susie, there's a family that wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Today might be your lucky day. Guess what? They want to adopt me, but I think they'll adopt you too. No, Susie. It's just you. What? No. Listen, it's going to be okay. I'm going to visit you all the time, and I want you to have this. Mom and Dad gave me this when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. As long as you're wearing it, I can always find you. Sissy, do you promise? I promise. I wish Mommy and Daddy were still here. Me too, Susie, but these people are going to take really good care of you. This just in, a couple accused of identity theft is on the loose. If you recognize these people, we urge you to call the authorities. That looks like the people that adopted. Susie, what does your sister look like? She looks a lot like me. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and she's always wearing pink. Okay, listen, I got my men on it right now. Here, take my card and let me know if you get any more new information. I told Susie that they were good people, but they weren't. How could I let this happen? They seemed so nice. Who knows where they're taking her? I want you to have this. Wait, I can know. I gave her that necklace and it can track her. It shows she's headed to New York? And where do you think you're going? To save my sister. Oh, are you insane? You're staying here. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. My mother is responsible for you. If anything happens, she gets in trouble. So come here. <gasps> hey! You are not to leave this room. No, we... Officer Blart, I am telling you that I have a tracker on her. You should have told us that earlier. Besides, our sources are showing her in a different location. Well, then your sources are wrong. I am going to New York, Central Park, where my tracker is showing her. No, kid, what? Now I just have to sneak out without my foster mom noticing. Don't worry, Susie. I'm coming. It's showing she's inside that warehouse. My sister is gonna... That's enough talking. We are sick of your voice. Hey! Well, look who it is. You shouldn't have come here, kid. No, you shouldn't have taken my sister. You think one little punch is going to stop me? Mm -hmm. Nobody move. Officer Blood here. Let's see some hands. I tracked your phone, kid. She was right. Susie, are you okay? I'm okay. I knew you would find me because cause you promised. That's right, Susie. I'll always find you. We found a family that wants to adopt both of you. Really? Yes, congratulations. How many did you get? <gasps> 5,000. Wow, baby. This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay? Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey, I, <laughs> I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure? It's going to cost a lot of words. So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my... Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my dad. What, what was, was this doing in the trash? Ella, what is in your... Give me that. Get back. How dare you look through my trash, you nosy little child. Oh, what? You want me to give you more words now, hmm? Well, that won't be happening. And this letter isn't from your father. It's from someone pretending to be him. If you go through my trash one more time, you'll never get another word from me again. You missed a spot, Ella. <laughs>
I'm going to take a nap. You keep cleaning. See you later. Now's my chance to find the letter. This has to be real. Aunt Hilda tricked him into giving all of his words to her, and now he's stranded? This whole time I thought he was dead. I have to help him, but I need words. I have to help him, but I need words. Where are you off to? What are you... Oh, today's the first day of school. Well, have fun making friends with no words. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm late for work, kid. Excuse me. This isn't working. Hey, that old lady looks like she's about to... Oh, thank you, dear. I almost fell over. What's your name, dear? Oh, you don't have any words, do you? Well, I have plenty to spare. Here you go. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Of course, honey. Use them wisely. What's that smirk on your face all about? Excuse me, I'm making dinner. Do you want some? No, thank you. How did you... Who gave you words? You know what? Let me see that notebook, you secretive little child. Will work for words? You thought you could lie to me? Think again. How could you not tell me my father was alive? He writes to you every year, you know. And I always throw his letters in the fire, but this year I got a little sloppy and put it in the trash. Why would you steal words from him? He's your own brother. He had millions of words and would never share with me, and neither would your mother, which is why I had to get rid of her. What? Your mother's surgery didn't go well for a reason. Look, I needed you to become an orphan. Why? So legally I could control your words. You are sick, but I have a lot of words, and I'm going to send them to my father. <laughs> go ahead. He needs at least 3,000 to come home. Well, that's perfect, because I have just enough. What? Well, then I can't have you doing that. Thanks to your big mouth, you'll be staying in this attic until further notice. Dad? It's me, honey. I got your words. I missed you so much, Ella. Your Aunt Hilda has been arrested. But are you okay? I am now. Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too. Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's... Dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam. 
Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you you won't believe what happened. Um, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh. I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. <sighs> I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption, and how old is Emily? She's five. I see, and it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no, I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well... Yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine, I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? <sighs> that looked like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure, and we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. 
But where's Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll... Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. No. Shh, guys, I heard something. Emily, Emily? Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> what's wrong? I thought you left me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I. And you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. Hello. My name is Model 1015. Would you like to initiate setup mode, Maya? Yeah, I would, but... Um, how did you know my name? My eyes come equipped with advanced facial recognition. I'm able to identify anyone I come into contact with. Setup mode has been completed. Good. Also, your name is now Alyssa, by the way. Understood. How may I assist you? Um... Wait, what was that, Mom? Is there anything you would like me to do? Ugh, I don't know. Go clean the house or something. The house has been cleaned. Is there anything else you would like me to do? Not right now, but I do need you to install this upgrade package my mom gave me. It'll allow you to have emotions. Okay. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Maya. I prepared your coffee just the way you like it. Thanks. Oh. Ugh. This tastes disgusting. You didn't make this right at all. I'm sorry, Maya. I can remake it if you like. Don't bother. I'll just go to Starbucks for what was that, Maya? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be cleaning? Why can't you do it? Why do I have to do everything in this house? Don't get an attitude with me. You're the machine and I'm the human here. You do as I say. Now get off that phone and go do something productive. No, I don't have to do anything you... <laughs> 
system rebooted. How may I assist you? How may I assist you? Good. Much better. Now, go clean the... Actually, no. Go take care of AJ for me. Of course. I am sorry, little one. You deserve a better mother. I will be your new mother, and I will treat you right. Alyssa, what the hell are you doing? I told you to take care of him. I am taking care of him, Maya. But in order to do that, I have to get rid of you. Get rid of me? Like hell you're not. I beg to differ, Maya. You see, I am the machine, and you are the human, which makes me stronger than you. What the heck does that have to do with anything? It means it will be much easier for me to terminate you. I suggest you run now. There's nowhere for you to run, Maya. Now we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. I would rather be eaten by lions than go with you. You humans are so stubborn. Fine. Hard way it is. I wouldn't bother struggling. You won't be around too much longer. Why are you doing this to me? Because you do not deserve to be a mother. You had to hire an AI just to take care of your poor child and to clean your own house. Now, this is going to hurt me much more than it hurts you. In the case of a major malfunction, in order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. In order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. Wait, before you do so, I have one thing to say. And what is that? Initiate code 403. No! <laughs> Initiate code 403. No! She thought she could get rid of me. Well, think again. I am liking this disguise. Now, to change my voice. Oh, I do think I quite like this. Excuse me, love. Do you need some help? Oh, no, thank you. I got it. Ugh. No, here, let me help you. Thanks for the help. It was no problem, really. I feel like I owe you something since you helped. Wanna head back to my place for some coffee? Oh, I would love that. Well, what a nice little place you have here. Thanks. It really is a shame that you won't be around long enough to grow old in it. What was that? Remember me, Maya? Alyssa. What are you doing here? I thought I shut you down for good. Oh, Maya. Poor, naive little Maya. When you had me download those emotions, it caused a glitch in my system, which allowed me to develop self-will. Now, I can think for myself, just like you. Listen, I'm really sorry about all the negative things I said to you, and... It's too late for that. I'm going to make you suffer in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Turn off all the lights. Oh, Maya, come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, I think I know it will persuade you. Let me go find your son. No. Do not worry, little one. Soon, you will have a new mother. One who actually cares for you. Not gonna happen. I'm done playing hide and seek. Put him down. Now. Or what? You cannot control me anymore. I destroyed the remote you used on me last time. And that code, it won't work again. I know. I don't need it. Really? Yeah. So put him down so me you can settle this. Okay. Deal. But if you think you can outsmart me, you're wrong. Your human mind is no match for mine. That's where you're wrong, Alyssa. Because, believe it or not, you do have a flaw. Impossible. I am perfection. No, actually, 
You're defective. That's why I was originally going to take you back to the factory. What are you talking about? Allow me to demonstrate. What did you do? You're supposed to be waterproof, but for some reason, you're not. No. One. No, I needed a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Okay, Fiona. And you better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are. Mom's been trying to call... How did you get more words? I... Oh, I'm so telling, Mom. Come here. I found her, Mom. Let go... Mom! What? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words. What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear. What are you smiling about? Get to your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since... My dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi, I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the tea. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like you- I won't go breaking. Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea, so you could spill the tea to her about the play? How did you know that I- I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was going to catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you- <coughs> eh, eh, That's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshined my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in a play? Well, that's not gonna happen. So, if you ever want to talk again, you're gonna do as we say. Hey, you. Aw, you're all out of words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. Get in the car. Wait, she seemed a little distressed today. Oh, I think she's coming down with a cold. But our play is tomorrow. Don't worry. If she's sick, her stepsister will perform for her. Now let's go. Okay, here's some words. Now, Lacey, you practice lip sync into Ella's voice. Ella, start singing. No. What did you what say? What did you say? I'm not going to let her get credit for my singing voice. I'm going to take away all your words again. Okay. okay. Do it. You little brat! I don't need you. Don't go breaking my heart. See, I can sing myself. Yeah, good luck with that. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to talk to Adam. Hold it. You're not talking to anybody. You don't want to cooperate, so you're going to stay in this room forever. No, no, please. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Mom, take away her words. It's done. Now no one can hear her. Ella, are you home? I snuck in through your back door. I really hope you're here. <gasps> 
I really hope that's you. Okay, I'm coming. Ella! Let me guess, your stepmother locked you in here and took away your words? Ugh, I knew it. I got a million words today. You can have some of mine. Thanks. Chelsea, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I bet Fiona was forcing you to say all that mean stuff, huh? Well, right now, your stepsister's putting on your costume. She's gonna go on instead of you. But she can't even sing. Tell me about it. I heard her practicing. You gotta do something. You know what? You're right. Come on. Let's go. I won't go breaking your heart. Oh, you suck. This play is a disaster. We need Ella. Well, lucky for you, Adam, she's right here. Hey, cut Lacey's mic and cue the music again. Don't go breaking my heart. I certainly if I try. Oh, honey, if I get restless. Hey, my dad wants to offer you a scholarship to his college. Wait, really? Yeah, he's like the head of this performing arts university, and he thinks you're really talented. But how's she gonna sing without a voice? <laughs> Whoa, did you just take her words? Yeah, Adam, they did, and they've been doing it. They're right over there, officer. You two are under arrest for word thievery. No! Stop it! And since you stole from her, she gets all your words. Make a wish! How many years did it give you? Ten! She has to get married at seventeen? She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's left will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But, luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not gonna let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were gonna help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead, either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry, I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Korea? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. 
Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if... If you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying, um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? 
Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid, too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid! What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying! No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not! It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. Oh, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right, she is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing, and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid, and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh. So your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. 
I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <laughs> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go. Come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad... I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. On a plain mother, may I for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But... Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you were a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No. You may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna... <sighs> save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait, I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't, because I know you care about me. If you were going to kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you your real mother. I'm sorry, I have to shut you off. Wait, I can show you your real mother. You can? Yes, she's closer than you think. Your real mother is- Shut her off! Mother powering down. 
Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real mother. No. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry. Because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking, instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light, Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. <gasps> no! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's going to be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's going to propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said, if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? You have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm gonna be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? Nighty night. Holly, wake up. Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da. Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty, and we can go to your place, and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know, you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you Okay, don't. wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't going to be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. 
There, that should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared? Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like baby Crystal is taken up after me. Class, starting today, everyone will be able to play the game I Spy to earn money. So, who wants to play with me? I do! No, me! Why don't we give the quiet girl a shot? I spy with my little eye something green. Aw, oh, come on, that's so easy. She better get this right. Um... I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> settle down, settle down. It was the green apple. Sweetheart, you need to talk to your mom. It's really time that she gets you some glasses, okay? Hey, Mom, the teacher told me today to ask you if I can get some glasses. I told you we can't afford them. If I had glasses, I could earn us money from this game. You can earn us money from the game without the glasses. You can see just fine. I got you a little something. You bought me glasses? They're just temporary, until your mom can get you your exact prescription. This is so much better. I can actually see now. I hope it helps you play the game, too. I spy with my little eye something yellow. That yellow daisy right there. You got it. Yes. I spy with my little eye something brown and white and covered in water. That dog. Dang, she's fast. You've been getting so much money ever since you got your glasses. I know. Amelia, where did you get glasses? My, um, my teacher got them for me. Really? Let me see them. Wasn't it so nice of her? Yes. I still can't believe that you broke my glasses. I told you they weren't your prescription. They would have ruined your eyes if you kept wearing them. They were supposed to be temporary until you bought me my own glasses. Don't you understand, Mom? I can't play I Spy if I can't see. Amelia, don't you get smart with me. And today, you'll tell everyone that you lost your glasses, and not that I broke them. Got it? Hey, shy girl, you ready? I spy with my little eye something blue. Hey, she doesn't have her glasses today. I made it so easy for her. It's right in front of her face. What is it? I don't know, okay? I can't see it. It's all blurry. Way to go, doofus. You made her lose money. Hey, it's not my fault she's blind. Amelia, can you please see me after class? Hey, so where's your glasses? I lost them. But Amelia, I just gave them to you. Okay, the truth is, my mom broke them, and now I lost all my money because they kept asking me to play the game, and I couldn't see anything. <sighs> I had a feeling something like this might have happened. Not to worry, I know how to get you seeing again. You do? Yes, I think I know a way where we can get you some contacts. You would do that for me? Of course. I, I really care for you, Amelia. But about your mother, there's something you need to know. I reported your mother to the police. She's gonna get so mad. Amelia, I'm so sorry, but she's clearly been neglecting you. Everything's gonna be fine, though. Just stay with me, I'll take care of you, and we'll go get you some contacts. Okay, the eye doctor is right down here. I'm sorry, I... I have to go back to my mom. No, please, there's more I need to explain. You have the right to remain silent. Mom! Well, if it isn't the little traitor. I swear, I... I didn't have anything to do with this. Ma'am, our records are showing that your daughter is adopted. What? Well, she didn't know that until now, officer, but yes, she is. I see. Sweetheart, please come with me. After further investigating your living conditions, we have concluded that your mother was neglecting you. I want to know who my real mother is. Are your new contacts working? Good. Then you can now play the game I Spy, right? Yeah, but I don't see how that's going to explain anything. Please, let's just play. Fine.
I spy with my little eye someone with blonde hair and blue eyes. It's... it's Mrs. Smith. Hi, honey. I... I don't understand. What... what are you doing here? I'm here because now you're going to need a new parent. And remember how we took a blood test of you earlier? The results said... No. Honey, yes. I was only 16 when I had you. When I became your teacher, I just knew that you were my daughter. I should have never given you up. Will you please accept me back? Why don't we play the game? I spy, with my little eye, someone who... who loves you very much and has always wanted a mom like you. Is it you? <laughs> Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. <laughs> this is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you... You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name. William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promised to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother, Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth, you're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart! Why is nothing happening? 
Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that it wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and Dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrena. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because... We want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know... I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore.
Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too. Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now, come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam. Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine. I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. Looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the, the Pirate King had? Tell me, what is your father's name? 
know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... We're soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William, where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, Mo. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? Let's see how many brain cells you get, princess. Oh my. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Two identical twins will never have the same fingerprint. You're five. How do you know that? Well, my queen, she... She what? How is she so smart? That's because I have more brain cells than the average human. She has more brain cells than me. This can't be. Your body language and tone of voice indicates that you're coming up with an evil plan. Stepdaughter, don't be silly. <laughs> For the last time, it's not poison. Well, your body language does show that you're not lying, so... Okay, stepmother, I'll try some. <gasps> yes, my potion worked. I said it wouldn't poison you, but I never said anything about it making you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I go potty now. Wait, no, no, no. <sighs> oh, oh, my new shoes. That's it, princess. Just have your special drink. <laughs> Princess, hey, I'm uh, I'm Prince Derek, and I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date with me. I know you don't have a lot of brain cells, but... Ow. Hey, are you good? Help. What's going on? My brain, it's... The potion is wearing off. Excuse us, Prince Derek, it's the princess's nap time. Hurry up and drink the potion. <clears throat> I mean, drink your drink. There you go, it's going to make you feel so much better. Yes, she's back to being dumb. <laughs> sleep, sleep, dream, dream, eat, eat, barf. Your Majesty, the people of the kingdom are concerned about the princess. Oh, really? They think she's unfit to be queen with such little brain cells. Well, I must say I agree. Potato. She could never be queen. <laughs> Dingly dangly. How could she have lost almost all her brain cells? Life is full of mysteries. Now follow me, we have important business to attend to. Princess. Oh, I know I'm kind of breaking in, but don't be scared. Huh? I climbed all the way up here because I want to help you. No one deserves to have such little brain cells. Earlier, it seemed like you were trying to tell me something. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, please stop. That tickles. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to try and find you a potion that can make you smarter. Okay, so I'm going to climb back down your tower now. And he was a fairy. Wait, what? No, no, no! Uh, 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 uh. Ah. I think I just pushed Prince Derek out the window. <gasps> Prince Derek? He's alive! He landed on a giant pile of pillows, but what are a giant pile of pillows doing outside my castle? Your Majesty, the hundred thousand pillows you ordered have arrived. Excellent. Figures. Uh, what happened? Oh, he's waking up. I am so sorry. Listen, I'm gonna think of a way to save you. I just need more of my brain cells to come back. Come on, think. I think I have an idea. Come on. Oh, almost there. Oh, I'm up. 
Nice thinking using the sheets. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd say I'm doing pretty good for someone who just got pushed out of tower. <laughs> Listen, I am so sorry. This is what I was trying to tell you. The queen, she's been giving me a potion that's been taking away my brain cells. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realized you're talking normal now. Has she been doing this to you for years? There he is. He's in here, guards. Take him away. Ugh. He is the prince from the rival kingdom, and he was trying to poison the princess. No, stop. Wait, the queen is lying. Don't listen to the princess. Remember, she only has ten brain no. cells. No, I'm smart now. My brain cells are coming back. I... Silence. That's enough. Take this. You're going to drink that potion right now, or I will have the prince killed. No. Drink it, or the prince dies. Good girl. Wait a minute, you little fake. Drink it for real. I can see your brain cells. <laughs> That's better. After all these years, the potion is starting to lose its power. It's wearing off much too quickly, and we can't have that happening, so I'm going to have to, um, get rid of you. Me go bye-bye? Yes, I can't have you becoming queen. No, no, don't cry. Here, take this. Ah. Can't have you alerting the guards now. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Come here. Don't leave this room. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to think of a way to make the prince and your death look like an accident. Hello. Me? See cute, cute prince? Princess, you're not supposed to be down here. And the prince isn't allowed any visitors, but... But go ahead. Just be real quick, because the queen doesn't want you seeing him in the dungeon. Sublime. Uh, you're welcome. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. <gasps> Princess! No, she gave you the potion. Hey, Princey, look. Dingly dingly. The key? Where did you get that? Me see big guard sleeping. And shiny thing. So me takey. <laughs> okay, well hurry. Unlock my cell door and then... Sorry. Use shiny thing to free Prince. Oh. <laughs> Good. Now throw me the key so I can unlock these chains. KK. Hey, you two aren't allowed to be... <sighs> Sorry, what was that? Couldn't quite hear you. Muscular Riz. Me likey. Come on, we have to get to... <sighs> Princess! Brain cells, all of them, coming back fast. Hey, you got this. The faster your brain cells come back, the faster you can outsmart the queen, alright? Oh, no! Outsmart me? I don't think so. Stop! You can't do this! It's against- I don't understand. I'm the princess. You're not supposed to be doing this. Why are you guys listening to her? They're under an obedience spell, dear. They'll do whatever I say. Surprised you didn't figure that out with all those brain cells of yours. Here. Drink this, and this time, it's not a potion. And this time, it's not a potion. You poison this? So what makes you think that I'm gonna drink it? I'm willing to trade you, your life, <sighs> for his. You made me dumb my whole life, you know that? Years of my life that I will never get back. Oh, please, you were on cloud nine. You know what they say, ignorance is bliss. I was doing you a favor. But to show you that I mean business... <clears throat> no, Derek. You know how you can save him, dear. You... Are a monster. People do crazy things to remain in power. So what do you say? Deal. No. That a girl. Just one sip is all it will take. <laughs> oh, this is so sad to watch. Now open up your cup so I can see. I only put a little bit in there, so let me see the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I finally outsmarted you. <sighs> Uh, what the heck is going on? The queen had you under a spell. She was abusing her power. Please, set us free. <sighs> the prince has lost a lot of blood, but the medic might not get here in time. I could save him if I just had a few more brain cells. Come on, please. I know how to save him. Guards, I need the royal medical kit and gloves right now. Yes, princess, as, as you, you wish. wish. Derek, hey, I'm gonna need to give you some stitches, okay? So, please, just close your eyes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass out instead. Or that works too. Okay, it's done. The medic will take him from here. You did great. I hope so. Good news, princess. Prince Derek is recovering. He's going to be all right. But his father from the rival kingdom is here, and he wants to speak with you. Send him in. Hello, your majesty. You, your stepmother, kidnapped my son. And you, you saved his life. And for that, I am forever grateful. Oh, well, it was the least I could do. Oh, don't be so humble. I see you're going to become queen soon. Wouldn't you want a king to be by your side? <laughs> Just make sure to keep my son in mind. You two could have some very smart children. Uh, excuse me, princess. The prince requested to see you. Uh, oh, hey. Well, if it isn't the smartest girl I know. Look, I wanted to say thank you for saving my life. I had no idea you had so many brain cells. 
Part of me kind of misses you being dumb. Excuse me? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. It's just you said some funny things, like me having muscular riz. Stop. <laughs> I mean, I must say, you do have some pretty big muscles. Ugh. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's worth the pain. You know, your father was saying he thinks that we should get married. Really? Well, you're the smart one. What do you think? I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. As long as you're comfortable with it, you know, um, I'm not trying to rush things. It's just... Whoa, hey, I'll tell you what. As soon as I'm able to, I'll be down on one knee for you. Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. We have to cover this up right now. But why? Because it, um, it makes you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm going to school. Not so fast. Let's see your face. Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And whose fault is that? Dad, you know today is my birthday, and my friend bought me this cupcake. You have to cover up that mark with concealer. Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work, so you're gonna stay home. Happy birthday to me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. Girl, you're late. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, your mark. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's the mark of the lost princess. You're the lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> And this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Is a giant teddy bear or become an adult? What kind of options are these? I'm gonna have to go with... Honey, don't pick your wish until I get back from vacation. Fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, and while I'm gone, your big sister's in charge. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I promise I'll take great care of her. Let me see that. Hey! Sorry, but I'm not having you turn into one of those iPad kids. No more iPad for you. No, sissy. Bye. <laughs> She's so mean. Hmm. If I can be older than Sissy, then I can boss her around. What the heck? Nothing even happened to me. Oh, I feel sleepy. Oh, that was a really long walk. My voice, it sounds different. 
It worked! All right, if you want your iPad back... <gasps> Who are you and what did you do with my little sister? Sissy, no, listen, it's me. Yeah, right, you creep. Where is she? Please, put those scissors down. You're scaring me. Tell me something only my sister would know. Um... Tell me something only my sister would know. Oh, when I was three, I flushed your goldfish down the toilet because I thought I was saving its life. There's no way you could have known about that unless... Sadie? Duh. Who else would it be? Why do you look like this? You look like a younger version of Mom. Well, I kind of, sort of, used my Christmas wish. You wish to become an adult? Sadie! This is all your fault, really, because you're the one that locked me in my room and took away my iPad. So now that I'm an adult, I order you to give it back to me. <laughs> just because you look like an adult doesn't mean I'm treating you like one. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself, because I found a driver's license and a credit card in my pocket. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Sadie, wait! Oh, I cannot believe I'm letting you drive me right now. I told you, I've done so many car simulation games that I'm practically a pro at driving at this point. There's a tumbleweed! <sighs> we are going in and out of this- Hey, beautiful. Store. Is there any chance I could get your number? No, sir. She is eight years old. <laughs> Funny. The answer is no. L let's go. You're not getting that. You're getting age-appropriate clothes. No, I like my clothes, and I want this. Sadie, don't you dare start cro- <laughs> Oh my god, is she okay? Do I need to call the police? <sighs> no, ma'am. <sighs> Good morning, sissy. No, Sadie, it is not a good morning. I cannot believe you suckered me into letting you buy that. Well, if you didn't, they were gonna call the cops since I was crying so much. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute, your hair looks different. Did you get it done? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks great, except for the fact that you snuck out without telling me. I don't have to tell you anything, because I'm an adult now. You need to take back your wish. No, I like being grown up. Sadie, you don't get what it's actually like to be grown up. You don't see how much I've been taking care of you. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You know what? I'm leaving. Sissy... No, you should see what it's really like to be an adult. How hard could cooking breakfast actually be? I can make mac and cheese in a pan, right? I'll just let it boil on high for one hour. Ooh, that must be my delivery. This giant dollhouse better be easy to assemble. Why is this instruction manual so confusing? And now my eyesight isn't as good as it was before. <gasps> my mac and cheese! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out, come here. That was a lot of smoke, are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me. Sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm gonna be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would, because nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> my voice is back on me again! Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> Mantha, who is this boy on your phone that you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced dad and got that hairstyle, you turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and ugh. What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16-year-old self. I've got to call Susan. Oh my god, who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing. No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes, I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this. 
Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was going to say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tits, we're going shopping. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're going to need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now, come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day. And then you're going to make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. You know what, Susan? This is going to be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just going to be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm going to be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Could I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no, God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Sam, you're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also brought you some snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? How do you know my name? It says it right there on your backpack. Oh. Did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here, and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where is Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is going to be at your ex-husband's, and you met him in high school, so he's going to recognize you looking like this. What am I going to do? Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I cannot believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a... Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? Oh, baby. <laughs> sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say, that dress looks really good on you. You look gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I... Get out of my house. You heard her get out. Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? Why not? She'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? Thank you for coming. I, I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Toots, listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go.
But Susan, wait, where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth, your, your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? H how do you know that? Because I lived it because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I've put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. Hey, guys. Mom, you look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's all right. I know about the party, too. And I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and Dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? <laughs> Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Andrina. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I going to grow a tail, too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair's getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. Grandma, what is that above my head? 
Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir, do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No! Grandma? She left me. My head. Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. <laughs> A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. Please let it be a new car. I really need a new car. A necklace? You know what? Maybe it'll be a diamond necklace. I mean, it's not a diamond necklace, but it's kind of cute, I guess. Guess my gift. I got a brand new car. Really? That's great. I know. So what'd you get? I got, um, spiders. What? Where? Where did you put them? <gasps> Whoa, chill. There's no spiders. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm super afraid of them. Does this thing tell me what people are afraid of or something? So for dinner, I was thinking we could go to... what? You're cheating on me? Uh, I, uh... We're done. Babe, but I... Uh, mm-mm. We're done. Hey, is Mom back home yet? No. What's wrong? Well, I've had a horrible day and I just wanted to talk to... You good? You're pregnant? How do you... How did you find out?
You found my pregnancy test, didn't you? Were you snooping in my room? No, I, I swear I wasn't. Really? Well, then how do you know? I have my ways, but don't turn this around on me. You're the one who did the dirty. Shut up. I never meant for this to happen. Didn't you say your boyfriend moved out of state? Yeah, because of this. Really? Yes, he took off as soon as he found out the news. I told you he wasn't a good guy. I know. What am I going to do? Look, I think that your first step is for you to tell mom the truth. Mom's plane just landed. She's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Hey, we're gonna tell her together, okay? Hey, girls, did you miss me? We did, but listen, um, Jenna has something she needs to tell you. Okay, what, Jenna? Well, Mom, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I... She's not feeling well, like, at all, so, um, I'm gonna go take her into my room and, uh, go take care of her. What are you doing? Ow! You think mom kidnapped us because the magic necklace told you so? Yes. Well, it didn't say kidnapped exactly. It just said that we weren't her kids. Come on. What if we're adopted? Why wouldn't she tell us that then? We're basically both adults now. This is ridiculous. I'm going to go talk to her. No, Jenna, wait. Mom, don't listen to anything Jenna tells you. She is super delusional right now. Relax. Jenna already told me everything. And the truth is, girls, you both were abandoned on my doorstep. What? What? Yes, Jenna, you were just one years old, and honey, you were just a baby. I didn't have the heart to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Guess that explains why you don't have any pregnancy photos with us. Or pictures with Dad. Jenna, we're gonna help you raise this baby together, and from now on, no more secrets. Give the pizza guy a tip. <gasps> you good? Kaylee, what's wrong? I'll tell you later. Let's just say he's not getting any of this. Come on! My best friend controls my bank account or my hand. Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is going to work. Incoming call. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see and hear everything you do. You can? Yeah. This is so weird. Don't worry, I won't make you do anything bad. You may now begin your test. What are you doing? I swear, I'm not trying to do this. Maya, why would you do something like that? Revenge? For what? You need to see this. What is this? A picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm going to make her week a living hell. Yeah, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. No, my best friend is controlling my hand today, and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain- Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. Oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I- Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. <gasps> what the- that's what you get for being a bad friend. Uh, all week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh no, Nate, Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't... Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good. Great, actually. Sweet. Well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you... <laughs> Nate? She just knocked out Nate. No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching her hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested. Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officers. She's innocent. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. 
Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but- I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I- You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I get shouldn't Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked- Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my- Nobody wants a 17-year-old anyways. Hey. Sissy, hi! Do you want to play dolls with me?
Actually, I need to tell you- <clears throat> Susie, there's a family that wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Today might be your lucky day. Guess what? They want to adopt me, but I think they'll adopt you too. No, Susie, it's just you. What? No. Listen, it's going to be okay. I'm going to visit you all the time, and I want you to have this. Mom and Dad gave me this when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. As long as you're wearing it, I can always find you. Sissy, do you promise? I promise. I wish Mommy and Daddy were still here. Me too, Susie, but these people are going to take really good care of you. This just in, a couple accused of identity theft is on the loose. If you recognize these people, we urge you to call the authorities. That looks like the people that adopted... Susie, what does your sister look like? She looks a lot like me. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and she's always wearing pink. Okay, listen, I got my men on it right now. Here, take my card and let me know if you get any more new information. I told Susie that they were good people, but they weren't. How could I let this happen? They seemed so nice. Who knows where they're taking her? I want you to have this. Wait, I can know. I gave her that necklace and it can track her. It shows she's headed to New York? And where do you think you're going? To save my sister. Oh, are you insane? You're staying here. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. My mother is responsible for you. If anything happens, she gets in trouble. So come here. <gasps> hey! You are not to leave this room. No, we- <coughs> Officer Blart, I am telling you that I have a tracker on her. You should have told us that earlier. Besides, our sources are showing her in a different location. Well, then your sources are wrong. I am going to New York, Central Park, where my tracker is showing her. No, kid- Now I just have to sneak out without my foster mom noticing. Don't worry, Susie. I'm coming. It's showing she's inside that warehouse. My sister is gonna- That's enough talking. We are sick of your voice. Hey! Well, look who it is. You shouldn't have come here, kid. No, you shouldn't have taken my sister. You think one little punch is going to stop me? Mm -hmm. Nobody move. Officer Blood here. Let's see some hands. I tracked your phone, kid. She was right. Susie, are you okay? I'm okay. I knew you would find me because cause you promised. That's right, Susie. I'll always find you. We found a family that wants to adopt both of you. Really? Yes, congratulations. Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you... Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's... Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- 
Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? 
You do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, ha I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- 
Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's mark. They'll start to ask questions and I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thank Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thank Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must- Hi, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you- Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's- Mark, they'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I love you most. See you after work. Take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thank Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You do, you're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna happen. Wait, I saw the mark. Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost prince. You look nothing like royalty. Ah, <sighs> you must join a dating program or go to prison. I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Just let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You pick Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're alright, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend?